movement on TRP-3 and 5. Confirm changes on those cargo ships. They're attacking the fleet. It'll be a massive... At ease, Lieutenant! How many assets do I still have active in the area? Scanning. Stand by. Connecting you now. All signal teams, radio check. Signal 2-2, two, two, radio check. Charlie Lima. Signal 2-1, loud and clear. So what the fuck are we supposed to do now? Solid copy. Descend and hold position at the carrier. I'm en route. Jesus. Alice is trying to take control of the carrier's weapon systems. We need to get jammers on those rail guns and fire technicians some time. We've got enemy troops all over the carrier. They're gonna try and take the ship's bridge. Let's move. We won't let them get away with this. Contact! Find the jack! Get to the rail gun and plant the jammer.
We need to get to the bridge. Out. Switch back to night vision. to target for me, Mitchell. Get on that terminal. Target that cargo ship. Hold steady on the cargo. 
Bravo, Chip Mitchell. There's no turning back from this. What happens next? Next? Hines just murdered thousands of innocent people on U.S. soil. Next? We hunt them down. And we bury them. The world is asking one question. Why did I attack the United States? The United States has had the world in a constant state of war for over a hundred years. Time and again, we have seen the catastrophic results of this belligerent militaristic policy. These wars haven't led to resolution or peace. These wars have only led to more wars. The United States has set the agenda because they wielded the biggest stick, well, no more. This is not the beginning of a war. This is the end of all wars. After San Francisco, the entire free world turned against Atlas. Irons entrenched himself at his headquarters in New Baghdad. All communications ceased. Both sides knew what was coming. Our mission was to fly in with the 37th Airborne during the initial shock and awe campaign. From there, we would break off and infiltrate the Atlas Command Center, taking out Irons. For Cormac, it was the end of a journey. He'd been waiting five years for this day. Last minute change of plan. We'll be flanking around from the east and the north, covering blue team on their sortie over the target. Yes, sir. I guess I've got the soft option. There are no soft options on the table. I just don't want all my assets in play at once. We're only gonna have one shot at getting the bastard. That's all we'll need. I know it. Just stay alive. You're our star witness when we drag his ass in front of the Hague. Looking forward to it. All right, good luck. There was nothing more to say. We all knew what had to be done. This was the beginning of the end. For one of us. Sentinel 2-1, approaching APC Romeo Victor Nort at Angels 5. Roger that. Maintain low-level flight from there to New Baghdad. Kingpin out. Sentinel flight. Fence in. Engage anything that doesn't have a Sentinel beacon. Three bandits ahead. 12 o'clock low. Time to start bumping heads. One down. Airborne bearing 315. I'm being painted. What's those traces? Mitchell, watch your wings. Target down. More bandits coming over the ridge at 2 o'clock. Tapper. Mitchell, stay in the canyon. Thanks for the cover fire. You saved my tail. Got one. Target down. Crack ahead. Stay below. Use your blower to power pass. Mitchell, watch that flight. Failing drones ahead. More birds merging in at 12 o'clock. Engage your will. Mitchell, keep your head down. I'll take the right canyon. Taking the left. Watch your six, Mitchell. Drop all ahead. Mitchell, stay low. Copy all Apollo. Watch your head, Mitchell. Mitchell, keep to 2,000 AGL or less. Approaching hydroelectric dam. 
Lock on to those hard points and hit them with your missiles. Drop sequence. Autopilot engaged. On deployment successful. 1200 meters to target. Minimizing system power. Switching over to load attack ship. Copy all, Zero One. Your squad is off the radar. 